Hello, dear students. Uh, welcome to my English lesson. Uh, the theme of today's lesson is CLIL, Mass, Statistics and Charts. The learning objectives of the lesson is to develop intercultural awareness through reading and discussion, to understand with little support more specific information in extended talk on a limited range of general and curricular topics, to write with moderate grammatical accuracy on a limited range of familiar general and curricular topics. The formative assessment of the lesson is the PRICE method. This method is used to evaluate students with phrases like good job, very good, and they're well done. Let's start from the warm up. There are five uh, sentences which need to be corrected. The task is to say the correct sentences. There are three colors in the rainbow. The Earth is the first planet in distance away from the Sun. Football team have 13 players in each football team. The United States of America has 51 states. There are five oceans in the world. Let's get acquainted with new words. Bachat Baganala diagramma. Paychat Dungilek diagramma. I axis Y Kusa X axis X Usa Data Director First let's understand what is a bar chart. A bar chart is a graphical display of data using bars of different heights. The bars can be plotted vertically or horizontally. And the pie chart used to represent the numerical proportions of a data set. These graphs involves dividing a circle into various sectors, where each sector represents the proportion of a particular element as a whole. This is also called a circle chart or circle graph. X and Y axis are two important lines of the coordinate plane. The X axis is a horizontal number line and Y axis is a vertical number line. Let's do exercise 1, page 88, student's book. The task is to check the meaning of the words in the box and match them with A to E in the charts. What picture shows a bar chart? Good. The picture C. What picture shows a pie chart? Yes, picture B. What pictures show I axis and X axis? Yes, pictures D and E. And the last one, what picture shows a data? Yes, picture A. Let's do exercise 2, page 88, student's book. Pay your work. Please do this exercise with your partners. The task is to start the report and charts, then write true or false, correct the false sentences. The first sentence is, there are 900 students in the school. False. There are 800 students in the school. The second one. More than 150 students eat 3-4 pieces of fruit each week. True. The third one. Nobody eats 9 or more pieces of fruit each week. False. About 55 students eat 9 or more pieces of fruit a week. First one, more than half of the students in the school eat five, six pieces of fruit each week. False, less than half of the students, about 255, eat five and six pieces of fruit each week. Fifth one, more students eat three, four bars of chocolate a week than one, two bars. 
true. Fix one. Most students don't, don't eat any bars of chocolate. False. Most students eat five, six bars a week. Exercise three, group work. Please join in groups and discuss with your partners. Students collected and recorded the weight of old newspapers for five months. The task is to create a double bar graph and answer the questions. Question 1. In which month did grades force peoples collect the most newspapers? Question 2. In which month did grade 5 peoples collect the fewest newspapers? Question 3. How many kilograms of newspapers did the grade 5 students collect? Question 4. How many months did grade 5 students collect more newspapers than grade 4 students? Question 5. Which month had the fewest newspapers collected? Question 6. What is the difference between the total collection of grades 4s and grade 5s? Let's check your answers. In which month did grade 4 people collect the most newspapers? In April. In which month did grade 5 people collect the fewest newspapers? In February. How many kilograms of newspapers did the grade 5 students collect? 180 kilograms. How many months did grade 5 students collect more newspapers than grade 4 students? 3 months. Which month had the fewest newspapers collected? In January. What is the difference between the total collection of grade 4s and grade 5s? 30 kilograms. Now, please write down your home task, exercise 3, page 88, student's book. And try to give me the feedback with the method of five fingers. The lesson is over. Thank you. Goodbye.